Hi everybody! Uh, so... I've been missing for a few weeks. Uh, sorry about that. My advent card series kind of got shoved by the wayside. Um, I have some things going on. Um, I got a couple of nice messages from you guys looking for me, hoping that I'm okay. Really appreciated those. It made me happy. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, I've been having some some things go on this month, and I'm very behind, and that's made me sad. And, and you know, you're not supposed to be sad for Christmas, but anyway, in the midst of all of the nonsense going on in my life. <sighs> this giant box arrived. And upon opening it up, I realized, oh, there's a little face. Can you see him? Can you see him? This is Jazza's Ultimate Creativity Collection. <laughs> I ordered it way back when it was launched, like literally the day it was launched. And, um, in the middle of Christmas, uh, the week before Christmas actually, it arrived to me. So, uh, yeah, let me make this so that you can see what's going on. So inside of this giant box, there's a giant sleeve containing three smaller boxes, though this one still is pretty giant. It is Jazza's Incredible Inky Box, Super Sculpture Box, and the Mega Minis Box. So anyway, we're gonna start today with the most familiar one of all three of these to me, the Inky Box. Can I just say this packaging is really nice. It's like really nice and heavy and like has like a really nice smooth finish. I don't know, it just, and it's like heavy duty. It's, it's weirdly nice. And I know that's a weird thing to say about packaging, but I don't know, I noticed that it as, as I was opening this. Look at that, we got some tissue, black tissue paper. Gonna open her up. Oh, I'm looking where. Got some nice bubble wrap. All right, now, there is a guide booklet. I have a cappuccino book uh, from Hanamule. I love Hanamule watercolor paper, so. They, I know they make nice watercolor paper. And it looks like, yeah, this is like toned tan paper. Oh, I like toned paper, that's cool. Oh, it's grid paper. Oh, that's, <laughs> that makes my D&D &D heart beat. Oh, I love grid paper. That's why I love my grid bullet journal so much because I just love grid paper, ah. Well, I do have a Fabriano uh, sketchbook and I do like the paper texture. It's good marker paper because it's so smooth and this is much the same. It's very smooth paper. Hmm. What are you? Durabrite, heat tolerant, non-staining, reusable, heavyweight, non-absorbent, so it's non-porous. So it's like, a, it's like, it's like Yupo paper. I've never actually used Yupo paper before. Um, mostly because I'm afraid of it because I don't understand how it works. This sounds like Yupo paper to me. It's like uh, paper that is non-staining and reusable so you can, I'm assuming you can wipe it off after you put art on it, which means it will never stay permanently, which terrifies me. <laughs> Elegant writer. Oh, these are calligraphy chisel nib uh, calligraphy markers. Set of four speed ball dye based acid free ink, three millimeter, two and a half millimeter, two millimeter. And what's the fourth one? A mystery, apparently, because it doesn't say. Metallic calligraphy set by Jacquard. I believe, oh, I was just gonna say, I believe Jacquard does Perlex powders, which I have many of and I love. These are Perlex. Oh, they're so shiny, metallic, pearlescent pigment. Oh, look how many there are. So I like, I guess, accidentally bought myself a Christmas present because this is a lot of stuff. So yeah, this is, <laughs> I'm excited about these. I love these. 
and now there's about nine million of these little bottles. What are these? All right, let's see. Oh, these are those Marabou. They look like those liquid. Yeah, Gra Marabou Graphics Aqua Ink. So I have some of this. I did a video on um, getting these inks. Um, these are, ooh, are these the same colors I have? Hold on a second. Let me go and see. Okay, so it looks like I do have cyan, but I don't have sunshine yellow and I don't have carmine red, so I'm not mad about it. That's cool. Oh, that's really cool. And then I got, let's see, alcohol inks it looks like. This is, what is it, Marabou? Oh, it's Marabou, so same, same company as the liquid watercolor, but these are alcohol inks. Uh, these, this is tangerine, which looks like a light peachy orange. Uh, aqua green, which looks like a sort of a turquoisey aqua color. Uh, amethyst, so a purple. All right, I, I don't hate that color scheme. And one more in here, and this is rainbow. What color is rainbow? What does that even mean? Oh, it's like shiny. Oh, can you see that? Can you see that like iridescent? Oh, that's look, it's like blue and purple or greenish and purple like iridescent. Oh, so I also see in here, this is Crafter's Choice Pro, Pro by uh, Royal Langnickel, size four and a size six brush. The last thing in here is Jazz's Deluxe Writing Collection. Let me clean this up a little. Okay, now I'm dying to know what is inside of this. So we're gonna open this box up. Oh, oh my God, this is beautiful. Get rid of that, oh my God, oh, look at this pen. This is um, a glass hand, it's not a glass pen because the nibs aren't glass. The nibs are interesting, the nib selection, is, but this ag, the actual pen is beautiful. Um, how do I liberate this pen from this packaging without hurting it? Because it's glass, it's made of glass. <gasps> okay, let's, it's held in by elastic, so let's... Oh my god, look at this. I'm trying to be careful of it, I'm afraid I'm gonna break it, but... Look at the detail. Oh, it's beautiful. This is the most beautiful calligraphy pen I've ever seen. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Well, I certainly wasn't expecting that to be in here. There's a whole assortment of different nibs. <laughs> Look at Jazz's face in here. I didn't even notice that. I was so surprised by this pen. All right, uh, this is called the feather pen ink so this must be like maybe india ink or something i'm gonna guess this little bag this is the little stand for the glass pen that i'm just terrified of breaking but oh it's so pretty and then the little ink oh it doesn't go in there actually hmm this doesn't fit this bottle oh wait yes it does Oh, oh my God, look at, oh, so, okay. <laughs> I just got really excited. Okay, hold on. So uh, let me bring the camera down so you can see what I'm talking about because this isn't gonna make sense. Okay, so this is the little stand that was in this box, right? So I set the pen in the stand, which sits perfectly. Now this bottle that came with it, you see the cylinder of the bottom, the base of the bottom is bigger than this cylinder. It doesn't, it's, it's much larger. You can see com comparatively, it's much larger. So I didn't think that this bottle was going to sit here, but it has these little things that just look like, you know, an aesthetic sort of um, design element, I guess. It doesn't seem like they have a function, but I don't know if this is a happy accident or by design. I'm gonna guess it's by design. 
but if you set this bottle in here, it like, it almost locks in place. These little things perfectly hold this. I know this is really a stupid thing to get excited about, but I'm, I'm so surprised and excited by it. If you look at, it's, it's like, it's like locked in here. It's not, if I knock it, it doesn't come out. You know what I mean? Like if I tap it, like that should knock it over. I'm hitting it hard enough that that should knock it over if it's going to knock over. And it doesn't, it's, oh, that's so clever. I'm, I'm so excited over something that I guess is stupid, but it just makes me so, that's like, that's like extreme attention to detail. It's, it, it's beautiful. Oh, it's so, that's so thoughtful. That's just such a thoughtful feature, I guess. <laughs> I'm so excited about it. All right, um, let's go back to overhead. Okay, so I just read through the book. Um, I didn't miss out anything. Um, everything is pretty self-explanatory. Um, he does give some nice um, sort of basic pointers for chisel tip and fine tip calligraphy strokes. Um, which I could use the chisel tip calligraphy strokes guide because I'm not um, I'm not really into that kind of calligraphy also it explains that the reason there's a grid paper in here like graph paper that I was so happy about is because when doing calligraphy with a chisel tip pen it helps to have the grid apparently which makes sense it keeps your probably keeps your letters nice and even and neat Wow, this, I'm so very excited about this box. Especially this pen. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy about this pen. I really want to use this. It's a lot of things. Way more stuff than I was expecting to be in one box. And there were three boxes in this set. So I can only imagine what's in the other boxes. Like I say, I ordered this back when it was very first, first announced so I I don't remember what's in the boxes but I am very impressed by the amount of things in this one so I'm gonna go find a pencil and start sketching and well I guess we'll see what I come up with Now here I'm just showing you really quickly how I lay out a quote for hand lettering. Um, if I want to have emphasis on words, I write out the quote usually and then I choose the emphasis words um, like I've circled here and then I sort of uh, go from there. Um, this is a much more complicated hand lettering quote than I usually do. I usually keep them pretty simple, but I really want to try out some of these supplies, so I thought the more interesting I made the uh, lettering and shapes, the more items I could use on this quote. So that was sort of my thought process here.
Okay, so while this is drying, set it aside, um, and I've stuck my uh, dip pen in my um, Zested dip pen cleaner to get that ink out of it, I have here my uh, Perlex and Gum Arabic. And in the instructions, it says you have to mix the Perlex with the Gum Arabic in order to use it to write with. And I have this little container that I'm going to mix up. Um, the gum Arabic, which is, I've got a couple containers of gum Arabic in here. Okay, so I don't have 12, looks like there's not 12 Perlex powders. There's nine Perlex powders and then three gum Arabic. This is the stuff you use as a binding agent in watercolor, actually. Apparently you also use it as a binding agent for Perlex powder, mica powder. Who knew? And according to the instructions, you are supposed to mix four parts of uh, Perlex powder and one part gum Arabic. Here is my one part gum Arabic. And my one. Two, three, four parts Perlex powder, and this is just the, uh, I think it's called Pearl White. Yes, this is just the plain Pearl White. And now I'm going to go get just a touch of water, and I'm going to stir it up enough. I'm going to make it liquid enough that I think I can get it in the dip pen. Uh, but I don't want it to be too liquid, so it's going to be a little bit of a guessing game, but bear with me, I'll figure it out, and I will be right back to finish off this hand lettering. Look at that shimmer. Can you see that on camera? Oh my goodness. I've used Perlex powders before, but never with gum arabic and never to paint with, like, pearlescent watercolor. I have, I have never done that. Um, I think this is liquid enough without being too liquid. If I end up not being able to get it in the pen to write with, then I'll just do both sections with my brush, but I was really trying to get it a good consistency to use in the dip pen, since it does say in the instructions you can do that. <laughs> and I've definitely never done that before. Hmm. I don't know how well mixed it is. Well, look at that, it's writing. It's definitely writing, all right. Alright, now let's see how it does on my brush. Now, though it did work in my dip pen, I'm gonna go back over this word, I think the brush deposits the pigment better than the dip pen did. So though it did deposit it, I'm going to go in and I'm just going to very carefully use the brush to really go over these letters because the, um, the camera picks it up really nicely, but in real life it came out a little dull.
All right, and I am just about out of the uh, Perlex powder I mixed, so that was pretty much perfect. At the very end, it started to sort of clump up. I don't know if you can see it clumped on my brush. It was much more liquidy in the beginning. Um, I don't know if the water evaporated off very quickly. It's not very warm where I am, so I don't think that's the case. I think maybe what happened is the brush actually sucked up a bunch of water. Um, these are watercolor brushes, or at least I'm assuming that they are. And they suck, they seem to suck up water really good. So I think that maybe it just gobbled up all the water and only left the sort of pigment behind, which is fine. But it definitely made the end, it's very, you can see it's very clumpy what is left. Um, but I tried to use all that I mixed up because I didn't want to waste any of it. Let me know if you are, if there's a particular box you are interested in me opening in the future on camera. And I'll see what I can do about that. Um, I am going to cut this video short. I know I didn't use all the things in this box. Um, I basically used what I was the most excited about, which was that dip pen. Oh, so excited about that dip pen. I love that dip pen. And the Pearl X pigment. <laughs> so, and this um, Hanamule paper. I really like Hanamule paper. And nothing so far has disappointed, but let me know if you want to see me do something with this weird paper that's like, I'm, it's, I'm assuming it's like Yupo paper. Um, I'm a little scared of it because I'm scared of Yupo paper, even though I've never used it before. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I do have all of the things for my giveaway just sort of sitting, um, causing me great anxiety because I haven't posted giveaway videos like I said I was going to. Uh, so I am planning on posting giveaway videos still. I may extend the giveaway a little bit since it's taking me so long to post them. Um, so definitely stay tuned for that. I, I don't know when I'm going to post them exactly, but I, I am planning on getting back on it. Um, and I am sorry for that delay. But um, yeah, so just let me know what you're interested in and whether it's more using more of the supplies out of this inky box or if you want to see what's in the other boxes and what I can do with those. Um, I guess just leave me a comment down below. Um, again, I really appreciate your, your kind words and comments on my social media looking for me. Um, I'm just, I'm really just having a bad month, y'all. That's all. So um, I appreciate that you're sticking with me even though, you know, I'm having a bad month and I kind of disappeared for a little while. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get back into the swing of things in 2021. Uh, we will see. Anyway, uh, so until my next video, I will talk to all of you soon. Bye.